<laughs> How's it going, everyone? Welcome. Uh, I originally intended to do this stream yesterday, but kind of wasn't feeling well. You know, I was I was going to do the stream, and then I thought to myself, hmm, you know, am I am I feeling enough to do this stream? And then I looked in the mirror and I did this. <laughs> And I was like, nah, I definitely, I'm definitely feeling, feeling a, a little under the weather. So I pushed it back to tonight, but tonight we're doing it. In fact, right now we are doing it. Uh, that's right. We are doing it and it sounds a little bit like this. So the subject of tonight's stream, oh man, I've teased this for a hot minute. This isn't going to be like a, a long one or a crazy one, but. Just the beast man, this guy, this guy is like a long time, well-known internet lol cow, you know, people for, for, for over a decade, people have been looking at this guy on the internet and they've been doing this because <laughs> this stuff is pretty funny, but I thought, you know what, let's finally do this. Let's talk about Joseph 8276, AKA the beast. So who is who is this guy for the un, uh, uninitiated? Joseph Strickland, known online as the Beast, and also Joseph eighty two seventy six, one of his former uh, usernames, I believe, here on YouTube. He is quite possibly the baseline standard for coolest nice guys on the internet. Uh, he's a Canadian, uh, although I certainly don't claim him as a Canadian. He is a uh, not a good representation of Canadians, I I uh, would say. Definitely seems more American, but, you know, whatever. Uh, he resides in Nova Scotia, which is basically, like, the hick east coast of Canada. I'm probably going to catch some flack for saying that, but, you know, a lot of the east coast is, like, I don't know. A lot of it is just, like, white trash and, like, people eating, like, McLobsters. That's what they have at the uh, McDonald's in the east coast Canada. They have McLobsters. I don't know, man. I don't know. Seems kind of gross. I went into uh, McDonald's when I was down there once, and I was like, this is kind of gross. But yeah, I don't know. Nova Scotia, a little sus. Uh, he is most notable for being extremely thirsty on YouTube and Facebook. And I mean, like, this guy may be one of the thirstiest men of all time. Um, constantly talking about girls, dating, kind of these men versus women tropes and topics, and uh, sharing his opinions on swag. He has uh, actually gone viral in uh, recent uh, internet history uh, with his uh, opinions on swag. It's it's very interesting. We'll have to get into it here. So yeah, Joseph constantly talks about swag. He kind of uses it how people use the word woke these days. Kind of says like kind of a, kind of a catch all. Anything I don't like is swag. Kind of like that. That's how he uses it anyways. And he gets in these like mental loops of like swag is bad because I don't know swag. It's like this very circular logic. He just reeks of this uh, to, like 2010 to 2016 type of weird cringe. It's a very specific brand of cringe. He had a Chris Chan type mission uh, sort of love quest uh, to find a girl or, you know, at the very least get laid. Uh, so even even when these guys talk about you know finding love or getting a girlfriend, like it's it's just they're virgins with rage. They want to get laid, which is you know understandable to a degree. But the way they go about it, it's just I don't know, man. Uh, comparing this guy to Chris Chan though in his love quest, um, the Beast's love quest is let's just say uh, less funny and way more just pushy and pathetic. Uh, and he has high standards, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's only looking for tens. Uh, he's only looking for the most attractive women out there. And he is uh, totally unwilling to lose weight, work out, uh, work on himself, you know, improve his uh, manners or his vocabulary or his speaking or pretty much anything about himself. Uh, he's absolutely just totally not interested at all in bettering himself or doing anything that actually might help him, you know, attract somebody. Uh, he was anti-swag while wearing swag. I mean, you know, that's uh, that's a debatable. Swag's kind of a broad term, but I guess you could say that, yeah. He had this weird thing where he's like, certain terms that would kind of be lumped in with 
uh, similar types of, you know, um, uh, generational slang or whatever, the trendy slang, he would kind of cherry pick and pick and choose like this one's swag and it's bad. And like this one is cool. Like, I think he said that anything that says like dope or ballin is like true gangster shit. Anti swag movement 2023. Hell yeah. The 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 battle cry of the anti swag army sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> Orion, what's up? What up, wizard? Never heard of this guy. Well, he's an interesting figure. We're gonna get into some of his videos in a second. But uh, what else we got here? Some more information on him before we delve into some of his uh interesting videos. Uh, something that seems to be very common with fall cows is that uh, Joseph sends he sent so many pictures of his dick to trolls uh, obviously I can't show it but if you really want to look at it it's out there much like pictures of Jared Genesis's dick or Cyrax's dick uh, Cyrax also known as Chance Wilkins a lot of these lol cows you know uh, they just they just can't help but send pictures of their dicks to trolls and they're almost always laughable uh, there's there was even a video of him jerking off that was uploaded to Pornhub, uh, you know, without his consent. And as somebody who does porn myself, kind of you know above the board, uh, you know, kind of you know, I'm like, eh, I don't know, that's like fucked up. But it was taken down. It's no longer uh, up on Pornhub. Uh, you know, obviously a video post like that without somebody's consent, it's not really gonna last long uh, on Pornhub because they actually have some pretty decent uh, rules and guidelines and whatever. But anyways, moving on. His presence online goes back over a decade. It's actually pretty crazy. Um, with his earliest videos and posts appearing online uh, in the late 2000s, early 2010s, his earliest profiles that I could find were around 2007. He has the dirty door just like Jared, yeah. His family has successfully kept him off the internet for years now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but uh, apparently for the last couple of years, like there isn't really much from the last four years or so, four or five years. Because uh, his, uh, I think his grandparents and other members of his family have pretty much kept him uh, from posting too much and coming back online in any sort of significant way. Um, particularly the way that he was uh, posting videos before. Holy shit. I feel like I got something in my eye. Uh, it's bothering me while I'm going to be doing this. My eye is just going to be like blood red by the end of this. I can tell. It's going to be irritated as shit. Um, but yeah, uh, many at the time, you know, when he started becoming prolific with his videos, um, believed that uh, he was a kid. I and mean, you can look at this picture of him and understand kind of why people believe that, because he looks really young. But believe it or not, around the time that this picture that's on screen right now was taken, I believe he was at least 21, 22. And this was back like a decade ago. He's turning 32 at some time this year. You know, the year is still young, so it'll probably be a matter of months, but he's, you know, he's a, he's a decent amount older than I am, I'll say that, which is, you know, shocking. He just looks so young. Uh, but yeah, he's got that extreme case of baby face, uh, also just coupled with a, you know, uh, just complete lack of maturity, uh, no social intelligence. Um, so yeah, he was born in 1991, uh, turned 18, turned 19, kind of was the, an adult before ever becoming prolific online, so thought that was interesting to mention because a lot of people were convinced for the longest time that he was a kid. He actually ended up showing his ID in a video. I think I have the video here, but I'm going to try and not show his ID because I think it's, he just shows it without it being like blurred or anything. But yeah. Um, <laughs> one thing that I found really funny is that his earliest accounts that I could find, I had some pictures, but um, while I was checking things before... Uh, I went live. It's actually a good thing that I did because a bunch of the images are just not working right now. I think they're backed up on like Kiwi Farms or something. So, yeah, they're having trouble with their servers and everything all the time or their whoever's hosting them because obviously, you know, they're a very controversial website uh, for good reason. Uh, but yeah, there's an interesting thing on his uh, old Fur Affinity and DeviantArt pages where he expressed his love for uh, Yoshi talking about how he wanted to fuck Yoshi in the ass. Uh, and he was, he's still to this day, uh, loves role playing as like a Koopa from Mario. And I don't know, he, he does this like Koopa role play, like Bowser Koopa role play. It's kind of weird. Uh, and 
<laughs> one thing I thought was interesting was uh, Honest Fur Affinity. Under interest, it said small dick lovers, which uh, would seem to indicate that he is a small dick. But, you know, I guess low-hanging fruit there, as I would say. Uh, <laughs> he would go on to uh, develop a law cow cult following before his reputation was uh, pretty much destroyed after he got uh, charged with possession and distribution of CP. Yeah, uh, but the truth of what happened isn't very simple, and it isn't just cut and dry, like I said there. Like, it's actually kind of weird, and it ends up being a little bit tragic, but I mean, that's kind of up for you guys to decide. This is my opinion, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, let's dive into some videos from the Beast now that we've got a little primer on who this guy is. So, the, the, see, the, th the key things are here is that he's... He's very, very thirsty, and he's just very, very um, socially inept, we'll say that. Uh, let me bring this over here. Hello. Yeah. I'm here with another video. <laughs> I was going to make that joke, like not that. so low-hanging, but... <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, no, I skipped over that. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, this, this video is called Wanting to Give Up on Relationships. Today's topic. Let me know if you can hear the audio and everything, okay? Let me know if the levels are all, all, all right uh, there in the chat, guys. Like, attractive girls. I'm not ashamed. I like attractive girls. Wow. Stunning. I like attractive girls. You know, it's almost like you like them because you find them attractive. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting revelation here. He sounds like someone happened to... Wait, what? He sounds like something happened to him in a certain room. What? I don't know what you're. T I don't know what the joke is there, but okay. Don't know if many people from Nova Scotia. It's because there aren't that many people from Nova Scotia. No, I don't know. Why I said it. Nova Scotia. I don't know. Why I said it like that, but yeah, there's just not that many people out there. There's just not that many people in Canada in general. There's more people in the state of California than there are in all of Canada. And Canada as a country is bigger than the entire U.S. So, figure that one out. But What is he doing? He's like, he's like growing a new tongue. Oh, the little boy's room? Oh, so what you're saying is... I got molested in the little boy's room! Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, Joseph, there's actually a lost video where he comes out and he's like... I got molested in the little boy's room! And everyone was like... What? And he's like, yeah, some guy showed me his butt uh, anywhere. P -p 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 penis. Some guy showed me his P -p -p penis. There we go, right button that time. P -p -p penis. Uh, yeah. But uh, anywhere. <laughs> it seems that I'll never get one as a girlfriend. Well, you know what they say, never say never. This, this world's not fair. This is not fair to people like me. I always want it... An girl. You, you know, you know what's you know what's terrible. Maybe I'm talking about this. Pe people are probably gonna call me a prick for even saying this, but you know what's you know what's especially awful. Instead of being like, um, a kissless virgin into your twenties, something I experienced when I was younger was dating like the hottest, who you thought was the hottest girl at the time when you were like. 14, 15 years old, and then having, like, then breaking up after, like, seven months, and then having, like, a dry spell for, like, a year and a half. That is, like, a fucking nightmare, because you go from, like, the, you're, like, holy shit, like, this is amazing, you're, like, redlining, you're, like, holy shit, flying, and then you're, like, down here, like, this is the worst. Because as somebody who's, like, a kissless virgin, you've never experienced it. So you can only imagine how good it is. But then when you experience it and then you're just it just nothing afterwards. 
you're like, oh yeah, it's gone, and then you're like, oh shit, because you had you had a you had a little taste of it, if you will, not to sound weird. Yeah, I don't <laughs> the huge hole in his wall. It looks it looks fucking weird, like it looks odd, like it shouldn't be there. Right, all my life. I've been looking at them. I've been outside. I, I've, I've looked at attractive girls. <laughs> I I've been outside. I've seen them. Yes, they're there. I see them on the street, and I'm like, "Hello, ladies," and they're like, what? "Get away from me, loser." <laughs> Around Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada. By the way, I've been I've been to the East Coast. Uh, most of the people there look like the beasts. <laughs> I remember going there. I'm like, why are there so many fat people? Why are there so many people like riding around on mobility scooters? You really need to come to Toronto for some of that shit. Trust me. Well, like, oh, that was yes. an accident. Sorry. Penis, but uh, anywhere. I looked all these facial expressions. I can't. Around the pier. He looked all around. He he walked to the end of his street. He walked down to the Tim Hortons. He hung around there, and he's like, "Damn, I saw like two women." And then he walked home. He's like, "Guys, I just saw some girls." But no, but no really good girls are around here. No really good All these girls, girls oh. are assholes, and therefore, yeah, he didn't. He didn't talk to any of them. Excuse me. Oh, fucking big yawn here. Oh, but uh, anywhere. He didn't talk to any of them. He didn't like have any sort of interactions with them. He just saw them. I give up. I give. <laughs> I. You know, this guy was like, this guy was like um, a proto incel, but he was. He never became like one of the evil malicious incels. I'm finding a relationship. As we'll find uh, later on in the stream, uh, he did eventually get laid, but probably not the way that he wanted. Nobody's helping me. <laughs> Nobody's helping you. It's like writing a letter to Justin Trudeau. He's like, dear Justin Trudeau, I do not have a girlfriend, and I would love it if he would institute national uh, girlfriend, mandatory girlfriends for guys like me. Black pill introvert? No, just insult. Find a relationship. I can't do it on my own. Back in the day, back in back in these days, we would just use the forever alone rage comic meme. So if any of you girls around the pier or Sydney, Nova Scotia, at least that are attractive. Yes, lots of girls, lots of girls in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Attractive. I like how he has. I like how he adds this part too. At least that are attractive. It's like that are attractive. See the beast. The beast wants a girl that's like the the the, the uh, conventional ten out of ten like Instagram model. That's the kind of girl that he wants. That will actually go out with me. Please message me. <laughs> please message. Please comment on my YouTube video. Thank you. If you don't. Message me, tell me that you want to go out with me. No fakes, please. No fakes. Just real girls. No fakes. That are attractive. Real hot singles in your area, in in his area, please. If it isn't Nova Scotia a sausage fest, I don't know about that specifically. But all I know is that there's just not a lot of people in general in that part of Canada. Like, I can look it up right now. There's less than a million people in all of Nova Scotia. As of, as of 2023, there's maybe probably around a million people or so. Because I just realized this is like a year or two out of date. But it's like, almost a million so there's probably around a million maybe a little over a million so 
let's say that, you know, I think these days they say that in developed countries, women are like 50 to 55% of the population. So let's just say that it's 50% of the population. You've got half a million women. You take out all the women who are like, uh, let's just say hypothetically, you take out all the women that are under 20 years old because they're too young for you. And you take out all the women that are, I don't know, the beast is 32 this year. So let's say all the women that are, I don't know, above 35 or 40, give you that age range to work within, just hypothetically speaking, of course. And then we go into that. So we've already cut that number down to like not that many people. Then we talk about ones that are anywhere near close to you. And then we talk about ones within that. So we've cut it down even more. Then we talk about ones that you would find attractive. And then we go from that sm even smaller number to ones that would even think about dating you for half a second. So we've basically taken it down to nobody. <laughs> so if you factor in the married women, oh, no, you're right. Yeah, there's, uh, there's also, I didn't even think about that for a second. I was just taking all women, you know. I mean, okay, let's be honest, though. There's probably a lot of married women out there that would be uh, willing to leave their husbands for this guy. I mean, come on. Come on, guys. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, bro. So this video is one of his uh, more well-known videos. Let me pull this up here. Zero percent. Zero point zero. So this is this video, the title is Loyalty. Girls, lower your standards and go out with someone else to give them a chance. Oh, man. Okay. Got to factor in monogamous and polyamorous folk. I mean, most people aren't polyamorous. And I, you know, I'm poly. So, like, most people are just not into that. And even people that say that they are, like, I don't know. Let's just say that there are a lot of people out there who say that they're into certain things to appeal to certain people, but when push comes to shove, they're n they they're not into it. They they find out quickly, like, oh, I'm not into this. Okay, I know I've disabled video video comments on my other videos recently made, but I was getting way too much hate. So this time, I'm gonna make it clear. <laughs> Stop hate. Stop! Stop hating, guys. Fucking hate. Are you that stupid? Go troll somebody else. That's what I'm telling you. Go troll someone else or be banned from my fucking channel. He's bringing down that ban hammer. That's right. I'm not joking. Be banned from my channel or go troll someone else. It's very what serious. What would you rather be? He has these like. That's what I'm gonna start. He has these like William Shatner esque like very long, like pregnant pauses. <laughs> My video off. Now, for the real start of this video, the topic here is be loyal to your girls, and this goes for you guys to be loyal to your girlfriends. Yeah, girls be loyal to your girlfriends. Guys also be loyal to your girlfriends. <sighs> Gay guys, though, cheat on your boyfriend as much as you want. Okay, so this goes... You're not included. This goes for you boys. Be loyal to your girlfriends. This goes to you girls. Be loyal to your boyfriends. Okay, he... 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 He, he switched it around, but we're still, mi we're, we're still missing the gay boys. They can cheat uh, in, in the Beast's utopian universe that he's establishing in his mind. He's putting forward his principles. Gay guys can cheat as much as they want. Okay. Glad we got that figured out. Okay. Okay. Now. Now. Yes. I'm going to talk about loyalty and what I think of it. Okay. I think being loyal is the... What about us bi guys? Um... I think this sound here pretty much sums it up. Yeah, uh, we're we're bisexuals. We kind of we kind of we kind of don't have to follow the rules, you know. The best thing he just wrote a song there. to be commonly used in a relationship. 
what you need to do and what you need to realize is that being loyal is the positive in life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Pinsky in the house. Give it up. Greatest dating advice known to man. If you have a girlfriend or anything else like that. If you have a girlfriend or a pet or, you know, uh, I don't know, something like that, you know, something similar. A friend that's a little too clingy, you know. Something like that, something in that range. If you're loyal, you're good. If you're not loyal, you're a douchebag. For whoever thinks I wouldn't be loyal to a fucking girl, fuck you. Spoiler, he has been unfaithful many times. I would be. I'd be so loyal to her. If I see her going out with a douchebag, I'd be like, girl, we're going home, and I'm going to give you a good talking to. <laughs> what even is this hypothetical situation? It doesn't even make any sense. Okay, let's go back. Hold up. For whoever thinks I wouldn't be loyal to a fucking girl, fuck you. I would be. I'd be so loyal to her. If I see her going out with a douchebag, I'd be like- So, this is your girl, and she's going out with a douchebag? Like she's going out on a date with him? I'm so confused by this setup here. Girl, we're going home. Like, if she's your girl, like, would she- you would know presumably what she's doing, right? So you're just out and you see your girl going out with some other guy. See, I'll be honest, you know, kind of a L on my part in the past, but that happened once. And you know, you know what I found out when I saw that? That girl who I thought was my girl going out with another guy? Uh, that was her boyfriend that she was dating the whole time. Uh, she was cheating on him with me and f trying to have like another relationship on the side. <laughs> like, well, this is so fucking weird, bro. Uh, Orion says between this dating advice and the advice from the master of gender relations, King Cobra, we are guaranteed to find our sweethearts. Oh, yeah. Fucking incredible dating advice. Yeah, let me give you some advice if anything like that happens. Drop that person immediately because there's some fuckery going on. I don't know, unless you guys have established that you're in some sort of like, um, you know, ethical, not non-monogamous relationship or poly relationship or something. But if if you think if you're supposed to be dating somebody and then you see them going out on a date with some other person, it's like, huh, I don't know, something's. Something's not right there. You could possibly say that they're uh, maybe cheating. I don't know. Beast, like we're gonna go home and have a talk. This is this is this is unacceptable. You floozy. And I'm gonna give you a good talking to. I mean, a good spanking to. I'm not gonna beat the shit out of her. I'm just gonna talk to her. I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna beat the shit out of her. I'm just gonna smack her a few times. You know? Oh my god, dude! Fucking <laughs> Christ. I'm gonna say. Girl, you gotta stop going with the douchebags. You cannot get out of my bed and expect me to be happy. Cause I'm not. You can't get out of my uh, what? Hold up, what? To work. Gonna say, girl, you gotta stop going with the douchebags. Girl, I gotta stop going with the douchebags. You cannot. The way he says douchebags is great. Get out of my bed and expect me to be happy. Yeah, so I'm, I'm once again I'm confused. Does he just expect this girl to be like in his bed all the time? I mean, granted, you know, some girls that you date, they will literally just get into your bed and then never leave. You know, I've definitely experienced that a few times. But I don't know, just the way he frames everything is just so fucking weird. His 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 thought process is so interesting and odd. Cause I'm not. I'm gonna find you at a club. I'm going to take you home, and I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm so, so in this hypothetical relationship, he has to go and find his girl at the club. I mean, I guess if he's dating, like, the hottest of the hot girls, like, 
maybe she would be the type of girl that might want to go to the club all the time. I don't know. I've known I've known plenty of girls like that of uh, varying levels of attractiveness. Let's just say that. Loyal. I am that loyal. I'm not even joking. I'm that loyal. I'm so fucking loyal. I'm making this 14 minute video detailing it because apparently I apparently he needed to do this to what I don't know validate himself. It didn't pan out with reality because he turned out to be a fucking unfaithful piece of shit. But you know, I will take her to my place. And I, I will take her to my place. I'll sit her down firmly and give her a very long lecture. We'll tell her, stop going out with the douchebags. Stop. Just stop. I will play her a pre-selected curated playlist on my videos. Stop with the addiction. Okay. The addiction. <laughs> stop with the addiction and just love. Stress the dick in addiction. Love me. She's got that uh, addiction. You know what I'm saying? We stand a loyal man. Well, you see, the thing is, is he's not. Because the thing is, babe, he's not loyal. Because I am the man that loves you for who you are. I am the man that likes you. Doesn't matter my fashion sense. Doesn't matter my weight. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Listen, girls. I know I'm a fat, ugly, uh, unlikable, obnoxious piece of shit who's just smelly and gross, greasy, you know, horrible to look at. Dresses like uh, dresses like uh, a fifth grader. Uh, got all his clothes at Walmart, but you know, you need you need to just love me, okay? Anything, as I if I love you, yeah, girl, it, it, I love you. I, girl, I love you. Uh, because I love you. Yeah, but her weight matters. No, yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, like, like I said before, he's totally unwilling to change anything about himself. He's totally unwilling to better himself. He's totally unwilling to make more positive choices in life that are more, uh, that are gonna make him more attractive to, you know, most people, you know? Like, most people out there do not want to date somebody that doesn't take care of themselves. Who is just unlikable and ob obnoxious? Um, you know, p people don't want to date somebody who is not interesting. People don't want to date somebody who talks about the same fucking four things on a loop, like you're some sort of uh, glitching artificial intelligence. You know, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but don't go out with the douchebags. Don't go out. Don't cheat on me. That's all I'm gonna. Don't cheat on me. See, the thing is, too. One thing about Joseph, he's. He, although never being in a relationship, uh, as far as we know, like any sort of real, uh, genuine relationship that wasn't like a troll or a prostitute or something, um, he's, he's only had one opportunity, I think, that was either like an online or like an in-person thing, but it didn't really last that long, and, you know, maybe he counts it, maybe people count it, but even, even in that, I'm pretty sure he was going and seeing a prostitute. And that's like the only that's like the only opportunity I think in his life he even had to have something like that. But the details about it are like oh, I don't even know, man. Like it's fucking weird. Like because there's one source that's like somebody who's relaying things that Joseph told them, and then there's like a few other people who've kind of drip fed like a little. Little bits of details here and there. We're actually going to get into this one guy, Parquet, who a lot of the information comes from. But the thing is, too, is it's kind of like, ah, uh, I don't know, because for the longest time, Parquet was just straight trolling uh, this guy, Joseph. And then afterwards, he kind of seemed to, like, I don't know, do he seemed to have a bit of a turn and seemed to kind of, like, I don't know, start trying to, like, uh, push him in the right direction in life. Well, we'll get to that in a bit, but like from what I know, like the closest thing he ever had to a relationship, he went and uh continued to see a prostitute that I'm pretty sure he'd been seeing for a while. He talked at one point about paying this prostitute two hundred and fifty dollars a month to just continuously like come and see him now and then, and I guess give him like blowjobs or whatever. But he described her as a girlfriend at several points and it's like going through the different 
uh, bits of like information that are available, stuff on Kiwi Farms, like different documentaries uh, people have made on him and stuff like that, archive channels. There were multiple times where he talked about this. Uh, I guess uh, maybe I guess sex worker is the more uh, respectful term, I guess. But yeah, um, he, he was like referring to her as his girlfriend for a while. And then he's had like these fake troll girlfriends that were all this troll parquet. I mean, like, man, that's another similarity. It's like so many of these trolls have like all these fake girlfriends that they'll have like ch- uh, chat logs published where they're just like talking to these people and it's just trolls online. There's all these like through lines with these lol cows, I find. It's interesting. Say, and I will have a talk with her. I'll be like, okay, you have an addiction, you need to stop. She got stop an addiction. with the addiction. Because the addiction is going to get you nowhere. And keeps talking you about have addiction. To be loyal it's an interesting way of thinking. To your girlfriends, guys. She's addicted to the chads. And girls. She's addicted to that big dick chad energy. This goes for the same for you. You have to be loyal to your boyfriends. Have to be right. loyal. This shit is like really repetitive, so I'm gonna trim through a little bit. His cadence reminds me of his. Reminds, sorry, reminds me of Rush Limbaugh, and he kind of looks like him too. Relative? No, this guy's this guy's Canadian as fuck. If I find her at a club, or anything like that, a pub. If I find her at the club, or the pub, or... So what, what rhymes with that? Uh, I don't know, something. I'm like too high. Like dualies, or whatever. I'm way too high right now. Dualies, I don't know what the fuck that is. Some American bullshit. If I find her there, and yes, I do have an ID. If I find her <laughs> there... The tub, there like, we go. Girl... We're going back to my place, and we're having a talk. Oh my god, he just keeps repeating the same shit. Hi, when I was first discovered him, I thought he was 12. Yeah, a lot of people thought the same fucking thing, man. Parts. Like, really, be loyal to your girlfriend, and if you're a girl, be loyal to your boyfriend. Don't be all, like... Yeah, have an addiction, just stop. It's that easy. Okay, uh... We're going to be with each other for a <laughs> month, get a and then we're going to cheat on each other. No, that's not the way it's going. Yeah, he was about 22 when he made this, yeah. Oh, okay, I need to scrub through. Please tell me he's. Please tell me he makes a different point. ...from bullying, stand up to them, because they may be... They may not want to fight. If you're a tough girl, fight the guy that's bullying the other guy. And if, the, if that guy slaps you... Fight him back. Oh my god, this is so funny. He's like, ladies, not only do you, you need to be my girlfriend, and you need to you need to just be whatever I want in my life. You also need to beat up other guys for me. <laughs> that guy slaps you or hits me. You need to go beat his ass. So not only does he want a mommy. But he wants he wants a mommy to go fight his fights for him. It's great. Cause he isn't. Cause that guy's probably a weak ass motherfucker. Oh, I love it when you fight other guys for me. Get some chub. Oh, and then he does this. Girls, I'm telling you, be loyal to your man. Girls, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not even gonna. Do that. Never and... mind. <laughs> I'll play this Guys, this goes for the same with you. Be loyal to your woman. Alright, we got it. Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Here. That I am absolutely loyal. Okay. Alright. Anything else? These good looking guys. You gotta go out with somebody. Get get someone else. Yes. A- I Joseph Strickland will only date the most attractive people in the world. However, I'm speaking to you now, attractive people. You need to lower your standards and date me. Doesn't matter if you think I'm attractive. You need to give me a chance. It's like, oh my god. You should honestly play at double speed. You know what? I'll try I'll try 1.5 speed. Let's try it out. Let's see how that is. A chance. Someone who doesn't look good but has a good fashion sense. 
Give them a chance. Maybe then. You won't get douched out. You will get douched out? Oh god, that mental image. Oh, oh god. This guy will be loyal to you. Gonna, this guy will look after you. He's gonna douche you out. And no, not until you decide He's gonna to clean out your pussy for you. Put the fucking douchebag again. Sounds he like this. He will look after you until the day I die. Okay, he will look after you until the day he dies. He will look after you. All the time. He will marry you in the near future. Until you... the very end. Or until a hotter girl comes by. Won't. Ever go out. A girl that makes him do this harder. With a douchebag again. And if you ever go out with a douchebag and you're married to him, you must be really cheating on him. You're not being loyal enough. You need to be loyal. Wait, wh huh? What? 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 Makes no sense. Anyways, let's move on to another video here. What do we have? Let's see. So this video is called Relationship and Girls Rant and What Girls Lack. What's up, people? This is Pimpin' Joe with Joe's Real Rants, and this Pimpin is- Pimpin' Joe? Pimpin' Joe! Oh, no. No. Movie Doctor will says until the day he dies. So if the good guy comes back as a vampire or a zombie, can they be disloyal? Yes. Uh, you're allowed to cheat uh, on a technicality. The fake accent, bud. I don't know. If, I don't know what fake accent you're talking about, man. It's totally real. Does he still make videos? Pretty much no. He was banned by his own family, I think, after the whole child porn thing, which we will get to. Like I said in my other my other video that was 21 minutes long, these are real rants. These aren't comedic. Pimp and Joe, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Yes. Let's do it, Brandon. Let's go, Pimp and Joe. In any way. Sounds like this. And I was never meant to be a comedian. I was always meant... <laughs> To be a I didn't choose the comedian life. The comedian life choose me. Serious ranter. So is he a pimp or a mobster? He's both. He's everything all at once. Uh. Except swag. Definitely not. So. There's gonna be. Some parts of the. Holy shit. Did this go back to normal speed? Wait a minute. Okay. Let's try double speed. Right, they're gonna be a little nicer. But I'm still gonna be a little furious. Because this topic, it go. really does piss me off. And I know it's a topic that we all can relate to. Relationships and girls are, is my rent. Uh, this topic is the same is, thing uh, he always talks about. It's a topic that really does furiate me. And um, furious. it makes me a little furious and it makes me want to give my opinions on it. Furious. And what I think should be for Hot relationships and all that stuff. And maybe a little bit of other things too. Hold on. What the hell is he doing? I'm sorry for that. Just checking if my eyes were a little red. They shouldn't be. Uh, I'm not high, so... Just, <laughs> just don't do it. Okay, I just noticed we have a better angle at the fucking hole in his wall here. What the shit, bro? Anyways, on with the topic. Here we go. I know that Girl. Dude, li dude, dude lives in like the renovated Blair Witch House. Girls are the epitome of a relationship, but they're yeah the true alpha male Joseph eight two seven six aka the beast are some things that really bug me. Like, okay, I never had a girlfriend all my life. Yeah, and it's it's bothering me now since I'm twenty two years old, and my birthday was like three days ago. 21st, 20th. Yeah, so, uh, it's like this. Girls are pickier than guys. No shit. The only thing that I'm really picky on is the type of girl I want, which is a hot, sexy girl. Oh my god, I'm fucking, it's like, wow, I'm surprised, dude. A young man is primarily concerned with his girlfriend being physically attractive. That is... I've got to say, that's unheard of. But, I don't want sex on the first date. 
or anything like that for that matter. That this was later proven to be a lie. No, I am a nice guy, and I won't stop being a nice guy. <laughs> He's a certified nice guy. You would have think that he would have heard the phrase nice guys finish last, though. I don't know. I feel like he's the type of person that would have uh, taken that to heart. Um, the thing is that girls, those types of girls that I want, they lack things that I want them to have. Like, Such as the desire to fuck you. Like, a great personality. I mean, I don't just want a smoking hot body. Not, not a model body, not a model skinny body, but a smoking hot one. I like... I like the hot. It's very descriptive, yes. I like the girls, the hot girls, you know what? I mean. Smoking hot, like you know, like seven hundred degrees Celsius, like they're on fire. Uh, but they lack personality. They lack it. And Nazreen says, if he had anything before, he should take what he gets. Yeah, kind of have to agree. Uh, Joseph was also pretty short, around five foot three. I mean, he's taller than I thought he would be. They should know better than to go out with bad guys. They got. They should know better to go out with good guys because good guys are better than bad guys. Yes, you might think, girls, that us guys, like me, for uh, example, long are too COVID, nice. Gotta love it. But to me, there is no such thing as too nice. No such thing at all. Like people. Yeah, there is some. There is such thing as too nice. Like people who are so nice that they're annoying to be around because, like, you can't be yourself because they're so nice to the point that even you know cracking a joke that is at the expense of somebody else when it's not even that you know offensive or malicious or anything they'd be like oh that's rude or whatever or they're just you know they have nothing interesting to say because all they do is fucking you know i don't know go out and like plant trees like, it is possible to be too nice in a lot of ways. Who is this? He's uh, he's the beast. That's all you need to know. He goes on the internet, and he's like, Women, here's my mating call. No, the girls, if, if I had a hot girl in a relationship, she would think I'm too nice or think I'm a pussy. Girls. Most <laughs> people would probably primarily be like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Listen. Or that you're just ugly as shit. I have self-confidence, but I'm a nice guy, and I don't want to stop being that way. If yous would listen to me, yous would know that getting a nicer guy, yous. a good guy, that can look after you, is better than having a bad guy or an asshole, someone challenging or exciting. You gotta grow up, girls. Grow up. Yeah, you girls, you need to grow up. I mean, stop- It's you who needs to grow up, girls. Going out with those, with those guys that are really, really bad. I mean, what's happened to the society of girls going out with the good guy? What happened to that? I mean, it, uh, that was never a thing. It should be still happening, and I know, and it's and it's not my fault in any way that I like. Shocker! Hot, that never existed. Hot girls, hot ones, and I mean hot ones, not BBWs, not not below average. I mean the <laughs> above average girls. Yes, above average, not. I, as an overweight male, uh, I'm not interested in uh, overweight females. Uh, let me tell you. West T in the chat says, hey, kid in chat, I hope everyone is having a good day. Don't forget that swag is dead. Yes, yeah, swag is dead, and Joseph Strickland killed it by sitting on it and then eating it. Uh, you know what I mean. Um, and I know I'm picky on that one thing, but that's not all I want. Really, that's not all. You girls Well, that's pretty much all you talk about, so, um, you know, understandable if people get that impression. Gotta realize that I am a guy that holy shit fucking what oh my god um what? what this is new information to me it's nice enough to the point where i don't have to be an asshole just goy. to get a girlfriend what? or just to meet up with one and go out with one and probably marry one in the future if she would stay with me oh my god <laughs> his hands dude oh man like shrek's hands to get a girlfriend or just to meet up with one and go out with one and probably marry one in the future if she would stay with please me. just let me put my penis in a woman please this is another thing after lacking staying with the nice guy he, all he wants in life is to do this <laughs> and getting married in the near future <laughs> and if he's if we don't get married in the near future then just stay with the nice guy it's better for you and it's better for him so that ladies it, just just stay with the nice guy and don't forget to tip your favorite live streamer who makes this sound 
and then does this. It's, it's more like, it's more like the bad guys won't be getting any more, and the bad guys the will be saying, "Oh, why can't I get a girlfriend?" The reason why, guys. He hated skinny jeans because he couldn't wear them. He's like, "Oh, skinny jeans," and then he tried to put them on, and then he ripped him. His parents, <laughs> sorry, his grandparents, because parents are dead. His parents were like. God damn it, Joseph, I just bought you those jeans and you ripped them. And he's like, fucking skinny jeans, piece of shit. You can't get a girlfriend. Is if I if I told you right now that you're treating them like shit, which you probably are, I would say that they're probably going to dump you in a couple days, or whatever. And if they come back to you, get them out of your life. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, really. Life forever. And make them go back to the nice guy because Hands they need like that ham hocks. really good responsibility Indeed. of staying with the nice guy. So, I think, I think I really deserve a girlfriend. I deserve one after- <laughs> I deserve a girlfriend? Aaron Brown sound dropped? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got this one. The wind burned her a little bit in the pool. We got this one. Uh, we got quite a few. We got this one. Toilets. Uh, we got original ones though, like this All one. These years. We got quite a few original ones. We got penis, penis. But, 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 uh, anywhere. Sh 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 just the internet, bro. Sh shout out, sh 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 shout outs to Steven Seagal, too, bro. I I I I'm, I'm failing miserably, bro. I'm, 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 I'm trying to think of something clever to say, and I can't. I am a retard. And then we, got, then we got internet classics like these. <laughs> Who could forget this one as well? <laughs> Uh, some obscure classics that only uh, real ones know about, like this one. Yoga blowjob. <laughs> this one too. It's a very fascinating mental disorder, I have to say. And we got some just general all-time, uh, all-star classics like this one. Obama! You know, and then we got really underground ones like this one. I got molested in a little boy's room! But you know, there's, there's some, uh, R.M. Brown, uh, influenced, inspired, you could say, uh... Uh, uh, diamonds picked from the rough of R.M. Brown's, uh, content like this one. The wind burned her a little bit in the pool. I mean, let's be real. That one would have been lost to the sands of time if it wasn't for our good friend Arun Brown. So, you know. Sweatpants for his skinny jeans. Sweatpants are like, that's like one of the most essential tools in the tool belt of a fat guy. This is like skinny, uh, not skinny jeans, sorry, sweatpants. You put on those sweatpants, you're like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? These are great. Makes you think. Uh, sometimes I just wonder what went wrong. <laughs> and then you go like this. You find that pair of sweatpants that fits nice, you're just like. <laughs> and I've never had one. Since I was 13 years old, I've never had a girlfriend. Now, please, ladies, please listen to me. Stop going out with those bad guys. Stop going out with the ones that treat you like crap. Go with me, you or shit, said. Or whatever. But please, go out with me. I am a nice guy. <laughs> oh, man, it's so sad. Go out with me or some other nice guy. It doesn't matter if they're... But preferably me. <laughs> fat, it doesn't matter if they're average. Girls, you gotta realize this. I may be picky on that one thing, but yours are way too picky. Way too picky. You was like... He's like the hot guys with the abs and the and the Yeah, I mean he's <laughs> this guy's like, hey girls, listen. I'm pretty picky, but you guys are way more picky, you know. All I want is like a ten out of ten smoking hot girl. You know, that's all I'm looking for. You girls, you have all these you have all these things you're looking for, like, you know, a guy with a job, somebody with like a stable family who's like, you know, not gonna get like kicked out or like somebody that can support you know girls you're always thinking about this shit you know just doesn't matter just date me instead you know it's like dude what the fuck negative creep what's up that bad personality the bad everything you can't have all bad you cannot have a guy that has all bad personality and i mean that too i'm meaning it i mean there's <sighs> believe it or not oh, excuse me there's guys like that out there <laughs> Would I want sex on a first date? No! I would never want that. I would want sex on date zero. Before we ever meet each other, you just come fuck me. Thanks for the offer? But no. I wouldn't want it's sex like, on- It's like, thanks for the offer? Like, there was never an offer extended. <laughs> first date, I'd wait till I was married. 
Literally, I would wait until I get hear the fuck out like of that. here. Shut up. Come on. To that we say. Shut the fuck up. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I, I think I would like it if my girlfriend would stop drinking, smoking, and doing drugs. Now. All three of those things are bad. We're not even talking about an actual person in this instance. Like, <laughs> this is automatically, he's like, okay, I guess he's saying that he's not interested in dating a girl that partic partakes in those things. But he's open to dating a girl, but as soon as they start dating, he's like, all right, you got to stop doing all this. It's actually kind of funny. In some of my research, I actually found uh, things where he was saying that, like, if he ever dated a girl, she would never be allowed to talk to any other guys because he's so paranoid about girls, like a girl cheating on him. Uh, which is funny, you know, because the one or two things that could loosely be called relationships, he was not faithful. Went and sought out prostitutes that he'd been seeing the whole time. Uh, she gonna need to drink, smoke, and do all the drugs? Oh, yeah. She gonna, she gonna be doing this all night long. <laughs> Does it look like I'm high? Well, if it does, I'll tell you, I'm certainly not. I am not high by any any sort of means, any sort of... The only thing high here is his cholesterol. Oh! Alright, let's move on to another video, because we're about to hit an hour here. Also, since we're about to hit an hour, uh, if you guys are enjoying, please consider uh, sending in tip... Donation, whatever motherfuckers call it these days. I also got merch down below. You can also become a channel member. Check out some uh, premium members only streams and videos on the channel. I'm doing more, planning more as we speak. Uh, it's also a poll uh, in the community tab, members only tab for my members. Because um, I've been having some issues with the members only streams. There's like some certain ways I need to like manage how I do them and there's like polls there I think there's only one at the moment but there's like some other ones I want to put up asking you guys like how I should do them so if you're a member you can go and vote and uh, give your uh, thoughts in the comments uh, how you want me to do those streams and what you guys uh, want to see but uh, yeah let's move on we've got a couple more videos here let's I think this is his most notorious video yeah here we go this one's hilarious one sec So the title of this video is The Problem with Girls and What They Should Do. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the greatest five... This is the greatest first five seconds of a YouTube video ever, man. Holy shit. Just like... The rainbow kind of like uh, long ass sleeved glove that he has on, whatever you want to call it. Joseph eighty two seventy six here. Holy shit, bro! He's he's energized for this one. You want a rant from the beast? Let's do it, bro! Fucking lay it on me. You're gonna get a rant from the beast. Oh shit. This is the beast, Joseph A. <laughs> what was that? Hold up. Wait a minute. This is the beast. This is the beast. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> Joseph A. 276. Yeah. Damn right, boys. I'm back. The beast is fucking back. You damn right. Today, yeah, he's, negative creep says he was so homophobic. Sorry, he was so homophobic, but he wore that. It's crazy. He literally admitted in private to somebody who he thought was a girl, but turned out to be a troll. One of those fake girlfriend scenarios. Uh, he literally said, "Yeah, I'm bisexual, but uh, I gotta tell people I'm straight if I want people to think I'm balling or something." It was like, what? A, like what? What? It was so ridiculous. Yes, the Beast really is an interesting, crazy character. This rant is on girls. 
Holy fuck, it's wow. Breaking new ground for the beast here. Now, my friend Scott Williams, Scotty, I, as I call him. Oh shit, negative creep with the three dollar. Is that like a super sticker or whatever? YouTube's always adding these weird things, but thank you for the three dollar tip there. Much appreciated. Made a uh, he made a status on Facebook here, and uh, just want to read it off bit by bit, and I'll give you the best part. Hell yeah! You girls want to find a good guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! First hold thing up, hold up, you hold should up. do: stop being negative. Creep says, "I'm poor. I'm sorry. Don't you ever apologize to me after." after tipping me with money why are you apologizing you just gave me money i should be apologizing to you i'm sorry uh, okay we it's okay we like we love negative creep we love our members we love our mods we love them we we say this to them don't you ever apologize for that we love you being so goddamn picky I agree with that. I really do. But now, oh. girls. I was really expecting a but there to be like, but this this status is absolutely correct. You have to stop being so picky. Stop being picky. <laughs> looks are gonna wet. Looks are gonna fade away after a while, girls. That you need to realize that. Oh shit. And lower your fucking standards. You might find somebody. Sure, <laughs> they might not be the best looking Still ones. With but hey, they. But hey, uh, looks fade away after a while. Yes, I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. Because you got to lower your standards, girls. Holy shit! It's like a broken record, eh? Negative creep says I love you, and we say this. But we say this in response. Wait, why the fuck? Why is he doing this? God damn it. <laughs> this pause is great. Didn't mean to do that, but that pause is great. Oh, yeah, dude. That fucking Baked Alaska song is hilarious. We love our cops. Creep has blessed us with the cheeks. Oh, yeah. I mean, <sighs> no comment. No comment, actually. All I'm going to say to that is. I absolutely agree with that. <laughs> Joseph agrees with that. Yeah, I'll be honest. Like one thing that is going to stop me from like in the end showing a lot more of his content is. As you guys can already tell, it's extremely repetitive. It's extreme. Like he he talks about the same shit over and over again. Uh, we Americans have Jared. Y'all have the beast. Seems fair. I mean, it kind of plays into that uh, Canadian stereotype that we're like really nice though, because like the beast never at any point makes it to like anywhere near the same like disgusting levels that Jared is at. You know. Uh, but let's watch a couple more videos quickly. Some of his more well-known uh, videos. This is the one where he shows his ID. Holy shit, this is a long fucking video. Uh, I'm not going to show the part where he shows his ID, even though it's like... Te yeah, this video is, this video is from uh, over nine years ago. So, But still. Hello. So this is called My Dating Tips Real Shit ID Showing Proving I'm In Fact 22. Joe here. And yes, I'm back. He's back, baby. I haven't made a video for a few days. Yes, I apologize for that. Anyway. Now, I've actually been seen on YouTube still a lot lately. Those really mediocre RIP comments. Hold up. Yeah, this is another thing too that really pissed him off when people like if he would um if he'd disappear from YouTube for a week or two and not post, you know, it'd be a thing back in the day where people would say like RIP, you know, like oh yeah, haha, he died because he's not posting at the moment. It's like a joke. He would get so triggered by it. That are from unoriginal tryhard trolls. And no, I'm not a neo hipster, so don't even fucking say that. I'm not even a fucking hipster in general. Okay? Get that right. Hipsters suck, and I know it. 
<laughs> Hipsters, we say them you are. Let's get rid of these dumb words like swag and YOLO and fucking obey and bullshit like that. Let's words get like rid of that fucking hard. shit, okay? Bling is not for swag fags. Bling is style. Just remember that. Yeah, you could easily, that's a good point, Chloe. You could easily draw the beast and just start with like a few circles and then just like refine it from there. <laughs> okay. So what? I have a hat that says Ballin. I got that on the 27th. So today is the 29th of December, 2013, of course. 1056. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Like, in his mind, certain phrases like dope and ballin. If something says dope or it says ballin, that's not swag. That's gangster. Swag is bad. Gangster is good. And, um, truthfully, yes, I know I haven't made a video for a few days. I don't really care. Um, so the first thing I want to get onto before I get to the topic of this video is. Negative Creep says, I thought when you said I blessed y'all with cheeks, I was concerned about my TikToks I'm listening at work. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> we, I'll just say this. We all appreciate the TikToks. Pretty sure we're all, we're all fans of the TikToks. Is trolls stop with the RIP. Also, I'm still waiting on the, I'm still waiting on the, the TikTok that you're making for my song or whatever. <laughs> comments. Do you not see me on camp? Do you not see the timestamp? That I'm trying to point at right now, and I'm not pointing at the closet. I'm trying to point what's up in the corner of what is supposed to be the screen right here. that is showing the timestamp. I will be honest. When I try and do that, I'm like, ah, oh, yes, and I did it right that time. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, the the donation bar over here. No, oh, over here. Oh, 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 there it is. It's you. You always fuck that shit up. I won't lie. <laughs> You can see it's December 29th, 2013. Yes. All right. Yes. There you have it. Yes, we have it. Trolls. Why don't you shut the hell up with the RIP comments? I'm not dead. Go somewhere else and troll somebody else. All right. Troll another autistic person. Don't troll me. He got really pissed off with the RIP comments. He's like, I'm not dead. Just because I have older videos that you still care about, apparently. <laughs> oh, dude, the, oh my god, the face he just made. Dude, this face is fucking horrifying. Whoa, hold up. Dude, his face here looks like a literal fucking demon. Dude, how do you... Dude, holy shit. This looks like an actual fucking demon. Uh, does he not get that they don't really think he's dead? Um, probably not. Uh, <laughs> he once showed some giant plastic diamond ring he bought at a dollar store and said it qualified as bling. Yeah, you don't understand, bro. That's gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, you're right. It does look like some creepy pasta monster. Holy shit. This is like legit disturbing. Legitimately horrifying. The fuck is going on here? <laughs> really? 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 Is that really now? Okay. You can stop trolling and get a life. All right. Skimming along here. Too old for that. Okay? Yeah, real diamonds, that's swag. Okay? Gangster is when you have plastic uh, ring pops from the dollar store. Now, I want to give some actual dating tips out to you guys and you girls. Or as I would put it, you ladies. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ladies. Keep in mind, too, dating tips from a guy who, at the time, had never dated anyone in his entire life. Okay. Yes, I have a ball and hat on, and I got this on the 27th, like I said. Uh, okay. Along with, um, four other hats and one on Christmas, which makes five. Congratulations. 
Anyway, here we go. For you guys. Dating tip number one. Size does not matter. <laughs> No. Yeah, uh, I think we know why he felt the need to say that. Uh, I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to explain that to anybody. Okay. Now I know I have older videos saying, "Oh, your size does matter." Blah blah blah. No. The size of his gut doesn't matter. Okay. The size of his penis does not matter. It's the si It's the size of his penis, and also the size of him. He's basically saying, don't judge me for being fat and having a small dick. You know what? I'm too old for that. And he's also saying not only should he's, he's also saying he's also not only saying don't judge me, but he's saying it doesn't matter. And you should you should be attracted to me. I am way too old for that. OK, I'm 20 fucking two years old. I'm getting over that now. Very old. Yes. 22. OK, I'm getting over that. Okay. Casually causes magnitude six earthquake. Over my fucking older videos, and I don't care, cause older videos don't mean shit. Anyway, the thing is, guys, Holy that shit. girls he'll... have. He looks horrifying from this angle. I'm sorry. A tendency. This is bad. To either be skinny. Or... Whoa, whoa, bro! You live in Nova Scotia. What the fuck are you talking about? The thing is, guys, that girls have a tendency to either be skinny let's say hypothetically that was true anywhere else dude you live in nova scotia okay <laughs> movie doctor Will says 22 might be old in ogre years for all we know yes he's very old in in ogre years i think it's like every every year for every year every human year in ogre years is like six years like you know what I mean by skinny, attractive, whatever. He's 132. Yeah, you know, attractive. He looks like he probably drinks a lot of soda. Uh, I would take the probably out of there, and just I would take the looks like he probably out of there, and just he drinks a lot of soda. Yes, you don't even need you don't even need to pontificate upon that. You just look at him and you know, soda is one of the few ways you can maintain being that fat without having some sort of like you know, thyroid condition, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't have. If it's it's just it's just being fat as fuck. Average, big And I'm allowed to comment on that because I too am fat. But I'm I'm classier with it, okay? Well so I'm styling I'm styling with the with the with the dad bod. Am I big and big in general. And then there's extra large. If I extra large and Definitely in charge. Could put it that way and not be so mean about it. We like to call it supersized or extra fluffy. Because I'm not trying to be. Um, Hardly drinks water, guaranteed. Um, but um. B body by Mountain Dew. <laughs> no way. Actually, in dating site terms, it would be a few extra pounds. Technically, I have a, f a, <laughs> a few extra pounds per square inch. A few extra pounds. So, guys. Here's dating tip number one. Once again, so he, he's got quite a few, a few extra pounds. Size doesn't matter, okay? When you go find a woman. Yeah, big boys. Negative creep says big boys good. Marshmallow man not good. Yeah, Michelin man not good. Michelin man. And bad. I know I want to. Stay puff marshmallow man not good. Size doesn't really matter, okay? It doesn't matter. The same goes for you ladies. Size that, does not That fucking sound, is that his laptop trying to take off? <laughs> matter. It doesn't matter which guy you go out with. Guys, yes. It kinda does. I said this for you and I'm saying it for the ladies too. Size doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter if you're a Holy shit, okay. I think I'm going to have to cut Joseph off there. Just so we can get to some of the other videos that we have here. I have two other videos that I want to show before. 
I get into the other two big things that Joseph is known for. Or I guess I should say the main thing that Joseph is known for. Besides talking about swag on the internet. Dating tip, everything that makes me unattractive doesn't matter. I mean, it's like the it's like the best dating tip ever, right? It's like I don't have to do anything to help make myself better or more appealing. I don't have to work on myself. I don't have to take care of myself. I don't have to do anything. Just lower your standards. Orion Chan says, I just feel like this dude spent his free time shotgunning monster energy drinks and screaming in a mic playing Call of Duty. I'll tell you exactly what he spends his free time doing. He hangs out at the local Tim Hortons, uh, stands around in front of the local kind of like veteran hangout place. They're called the Legion here. I don't know if they have that anywhere else, but that's just what it's called here in Canada. A lot of places in Canada. Uh, he just kind of hangs out, walks around, apparently raps to himself in public. Apparently, he's the guy that just, like, walks around rapping to himself in public. I don't know if you guys have ever just, like, walked down the street and somebody walks by and they're just kind of, like, rapping to themselves. Just, like, not... There's no music playing. They're just kind of, like, rapping. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. It's, like, rapping, walking down the street. You're like, what the fuck was that? He's that guy. Um, Just kind of sits around the house, you know. Uh, goes on Facebook, uh, role plays as like a Koopa, like, I don't know, fucking Yoshi in the ass or something. I'm not making this up, by the way. This is apparently what he does most of the time. You go back, go back a couple years and he's spending a lot of his time making videos like this too. So this video is called Welcome to the Anti-Swag Corporation. <laughs> Free range rappers. <laughs> But yeah, this is the video that he that's kind of he's notorious for these days. Um, mostly because it was taken and remixed by a ton of different people, specifically like the first 10, 15 seconds here where he talks about the new channel. Because this is from a new channel he posted that was called the Anti-Swag Corporation. Uh, great misuse of the word corporation there. Welcome, people. My name is Joseph Strickland. Strickland. Yes. Strick land. Yes, Strick land. Anyway. Welcome to my new channel. The Anti-Swag Corporation. <laughs> now, on this particular channel, you're gonna find out why I am not a swag fag. This, uh, that uh, that dated 2010s thing. That was kind of a holdover from the 2009s thing. Of, oh yeah, you're you're a moral fag. Oh, you're a new fag. You're a swag fag. Ah, uh, just so fucking dated. And since I have only 15 minutes to explain what this group is. Oh uh, yes, back in the day when you had a 15 minute video limit. Our video time limit. And what this channel really means to me. Let's the figure that one. out. Fuck swag. Alright, now. Number two. Fuck swag. The anti-swag corporation. I love the way he's got his hand. It's, um, it's so dainty. Is the place to go. Was new fag a real thing? I mean, it was a real thing insofar as people were called new fags. Like, I know this is, like, kind of a cringe example to use, but, like, if you went onto 4chan and you demonstrated that you were, like, a noob, then people would be like, you're, you're a new fag. Even on, like, I mean, that, like, that's where I first saw it being used. And then people would take it and use it in other places where it wasn't really applicable and was just even more cringe uh the anti-swag corporation has the same energy as prestige worldwide from step brothers no prestige worldwide was like way more official i mean they had boats and hose that was like something that was actually marketable the anti-swag corporation ain't got shit they don't got a boat they don't got a video they don't even have a camera they have like a webcam. I mean, look at it. It's garbage. You can't do shit with it. Make a video with it. It sounds like the laptop's trying to fucking jet off into the fucking stratosphere. 
It is the place to be here on YouTube. It is the place to be here on our well. Come one call. It's truly the place to be. Step right up. Oh, the Anton Swag Corporation. Whenever I make the group and when someone wants to be the first member of it, you have to be my friend on Facebook. Oh, yeah, it's the place to be. There's no one here. To actually be a member of the group. So, also, gotta love. I don't know if this is the intention. I don't think it is, because why would you wear this as a hat? Therefore. But you gotta love how his hat is literally just a giant fucking L. It's just like loser right here. Add me to the Facebook. Joseph Strickland <laughs> is great. my name. It's my Did name. He sell this hat? Anybody dumb enough to wear this fucking hat? On Facebook, my name on YouTube. And this is the Anti Swag Corporation. Hold up. This. There's like, okay, there's like a sound that I imagine that I hear. I, I hope this is the right one. Oh no, it, I swear to God it is. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's that's the sound that I hear. <laughs> Is a corporation. <laughs> Joseph Strickland is my name. Being a predator is my game. Well, we'll get to that because even though he is a creep, uh, the stuff that came out after is actually kind of a weird, kind of a weird situation. Where swag fags will end. There is no humanity in swag fags. <sighs> yeah, bro, fuck them. They're subhuman. Just kill them. If you want to... Let me adjust my hat. Know why I'm wearing a snapback. It's just a fucking hat, people. It's not swag. But if it was a hat that said swag on it, you would be incensed, right? That's the sound his ass makes. It's a hat. Why don't you call things like high tops? Simply call them high tops. I mean, that's what people call them, right? I mean, if you have a pair of high top sneakers, they're probably going to be called high tops or more likely probably just sneakers. Because, like, that's what they are. Who cares? Or just call them by their brand name. Who DC's, fucking cares? Sopras. People do. They'll be like, yeah, I'm wearing my Nikes. Urban Heritage. Um. <laughs> yeah, every everyone was probably thinking, why is he? Everyone just collectively like, I hope I hope he talks about why he's wearing a snapback. I don't know, Etnies, Element, stuff like that. Call them by the, the things that I like. Brand names, or just simply call them high tops. You can call these hats, or just say snapbacks, or hats. Thank you, thank you for the impromptu English lesson, Joseph. Really, really, thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> uh, we have got one last video left here that I want to cover. <laughs> the way this looks is just so funny. <laughs> Stop disrespecting me and my goddamn family. For the one person who had disrespected my 15 year old brother, get the fuck out of here. You. What live? This is live footage of this guy getting the fuck out of here. Hold up, where is it? Here we go. Do not disrespect <laughs> my family or me. You're attacking my family. Get the fuck out of here. My family situation. You ever? If anyone, anyone. I mean, are you surprised? That, like, how many people wear fucking thrasher shit just because? You know, <sighs> like it's, it's it's just how it is these days. Like nobody gives a fuck. It's just a fucking, it's just a fashion statement. 
Movie Doctor Phil says, damn, I was hoping this was the video where where he's saying Mario. Well, you know what? I can I can do you know what movie Doctor Phil just for you. I can pull that up and cue it up next. Hold up, where is it? But uh anywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. So I almost pulled it, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm going to get copyright claim. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm adding this to the queue. We'll, we'll watch it next. Hold up. <laughs> I debated adding it, but now that I know that it's it's been requested, essentially. This respects me or my family. One of these days. Actually, hold up. <laughs> this pause is great. <laughs> Just imagine, see this pause. I imagine him going, oh, wait, why the fuck did it do that? God damn it. Oh, it ruined it. You fucking computer, you piece of shit. Fucking goddamn this computer. Fucking. All right. Got my frustration out. Do, do you do you guys even want me to continue me. with this video? Do you guys even give a shit about this video, or do you just want me to skip to the one where he sings the song in a very embarrassing manner? Press one in the chat if you think I should watch this video and then move on to the the one where he sings, or press two if you think I should just move on. Get the. F I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm feeling two. Fuck out of here. But I'll I'll leave it up to you guys. One. The pause reminded you of the Numa Numa guy. <laughs> yeah, that's some that's some like certified old school shit, the Numa Numa guy. This respects me or my family. One of these days, I will hunt you down with a fucking knife and kill you. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> and so will my fucking backup, my friends, and everybody will go and find you and fucking beat the living hell out of you. You want to disrespect me? You want to disrespect my 15-year-old brother? You want to disrespect my family? Do you talk shit on my family? I will murder you. Also, I love how he's just got... I love... <laughs> I love how he's just got, like, his keyboard like this. Just, like, chilling. He's just... He's just, like, hanging out with his keyboard. He's like, oh, yeah, let me... Hold up, we type something. <laughs> this is just so ridiculous. Fuck off right now. This is a warning. <laughs> this is a warning, everybody. Back off. Disrespect my family? Get the fuck off, you two. Go fuck your friends. That'll make you feel better. <laughs> Go fuck your friends, mister. Consequences will never be the same. Your Listen, if you make fun of my brother, I will backtrace your account. And I won't even bother reporting you to the cyber police. I will come kill you with a knife. Fucking asses off you two. If you want to disrespect my family, well then I have one thing to say to you. Don't you even fucking try. <laughs> I have one thing to say to you. Don't even try it, Buster. Because <laughs> if I find out that you are fucking doing it, Yous are fucking banned from my channel. Yous will never- Yous is fucking dead, you'll hear me? Forever get on YouTube. Such a weird voice and accent. Oh, man. Again. Eastern Canada really is something. They, they really are just out here doing this. Get out of here. Stop disrespecting my family and stop disrespecting me. I'm alive. <laughs> and so is my family. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. I'm standing up for them. This is the real me. Do you not see it? Not to be confused with the fake me. You disrespect the pretend my me. Any of you, any of you. If you disrespect my family, you're disrespecting me. You're disrespecting the living, the living, breathing human beings that we are. <laughs> me and my family, we stand as one. We stand as one family. And it's all about family. All right, fuck this. I'm skipping to the I'm skipping to this one. Oh, this is great. 
Uh, how many how many copyright claims did I want me to have? Jesus. All right, let me just play some other music while this is going on. You're terrible. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. Te te terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. This isn't some eighth grader going crazy on TikTok. Terrible. The smell got much. The Congress of nice terrible. guys. <laughs> terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. That's the Congress of terrible. nice guys. Supreme good guy You're Brock Lesnar. Worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. You're terrible. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. Terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. Nope. Done. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Let's get. Let's get to it. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Yo here, and I'm gonna sing a song for you, ladies out there that are getting heartbroken by your boyfriends and all that stuff and you know the girls that go up with bad guys and stuff this is for you you need orion says bro one of these days you gotta do a stream on draken oh i know who he is i'll probably cover him at some point yeah need a good guy i'm I will gonna put him on the list like this at the end of the video now here's me singing let me love you by mario <laughs> and trust me it's a good song Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, pausing to avoid copyright claim. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the what? perfume. What? The makeup on the shirt. God damn it, fucking mute button. <laughs> I'm being sabotaged. For the copyright, oh yeah, Nightfall, Nightfall, I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Oh good lord, he looks like someone's lesbian aunt. Hey, come on now. That's not very politically correct of you. I'll be coming home back to you, every night, doing you right. You're the type of woman, you deserve good things. Type of woman makes you go. Baby, don't stop, I just <laughs> want to show you why you should like Um, <laughs> uh, honestly, you barely even hear him singing it. You know you still so going. What? What, did, what does he say after this? Like, what does, he, what does he cap this off with? Now, I might not sing the best in the world. <laughs> Probably not the best ever. But For, Probably not. I would say, I, I think we'd actually be pretty safe saying, uh, no. I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> you did excellent, Joseph. I'm we're so proud of you. Now, I would love a girlfriend. Somebody hot. <laughs> we're right back into the classics. I, I mean, I mean, that's pretty much where I gotta just leave it there in terms of the videos for tonight because, like, what else do you even say? We could play more Joseph videos, but it would be just, it would literally just be him repeating the exact same thing that we've just heard like a bunch of times. So, his fingers look like Vienna sausages. I would say that Vienna sausages are definitely not as thick as his fingers are. So, um, a little detail... And a little more detail on his personal life and things of that nature before we get into the the thing that everyone probably knows I'm going to talk about if they know about the beast.
Please play him ranting. Um, I I played him ranting already, like quite a bit, probably like an hour worth of him ranting. So yeah, we're pretty much done with that. Uh, you can go check out earlier in the stream. Go play that back if you want to check that out. Uh, Movie Doctor says there is a part near the end of the song where Joseph gives a shriek. Hey, hey, and his voice cracks. Yeah, you guys can go back and check that out, but. <laughs> This point, pretty much everyone was probably waiting for me to get to this point. Uh, I'm going to read this first, though. Both of Jer uh, both Joseph's parents died when he was young, and his family home came under the possession of a couple of his family members uh, with his grandparents raising him. I don't know if his grandparents primarily uh, owned the home and all that, but I think maybe like an uncle and a brother were also involved. He was basically raised by his family without his parents involved because they died when he was pretty young. Uh, but by all accounts, it seems like they gave him a pretty standard, normal life. Seems like they weren't too crazy or anything. Um, his grandfather, by all uh, reports, seemed like he did his best to help him out, hired him at the family store, but Joseph didn't really go and do anything. Uh, his grandfather also gave him the laptop that he used to make the videos that we watched uh, throughout the stream. Um, at one point, Joseph finally did get laid, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, the sex worker, uh, it was with the sex worker that I mentioned earlier. Um, she ended up apparently stringing him along for months and months, uh, making, uh, or sorry, basically allowing him to believe that they were in some sort of a genuine relationship outside of the, you know, sex for money thing. Um, it seems like maybe she manipulated him, but it's not exactly clear because we don't have you know a really uh clear trustworthy version of the account that we can go off of we're kind of going off of things that joseph told other people uh things that other people worked out and kind of uncovered um interesting kind of through line i mentioned it before is this um troll parquet who started out as like this really dedicated troll definitely the most notable person i would say in the uh lore when it comes to the beast uh but they ended up co oh hey baby just came back from work just gave me flowers <laughs> thank you baby but yeah um this troll parquet uh they started his thread on kiwi farms they also wrote his encyclopedia dramatica play uh page uh played the part of at least two fake girlfriends of his online and got a lot of chat logs that are out there between the two of them um and yeah they he also archived most of joseph's old videos primarily on the channel uh chronicles of swag uh where we got some of the videos from tonight uh although he was initially pretty hostile and antagonistic towards joseph over the years it would become clear that parquet didn't really have any like crazy malicious intentions that a lot of these uh, dedicated trolls seem to have towards the lol cows that they troll um, but you know, comparing somebody like Joseph to somebody like Jared or Cyrax, like Joseph is nowhere near as bad. Um, and the one thing that a lot of people will probably bring up the whole like child porn thing, we're going to get to that in a moment because the details of, of it are kind of weird. And by the end of it, um, I think you'll understand why, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's up in the air, but uh, in fact, you know, actually let's, let's get, before we get to that, I just want to mention that Parquet is the source of a lot of the publicly available information about Joseph and his life, including a lot of the information that went into this uh, stream here. So take that uh, as it is. You know, a lot of the information could could be a little bit could be a little bit of a broken telephone situation, but you know. Uh, so let's get into this whole CP thing. So on August fourth, twenty fifteen, there was an article that appeared. Uh, where it stated that Joseph was charged with possession and distribution of CP. Uh, the information that came out afterwards was spread out over you know periods of time. It was very sparse information coming out. Um, Joseph kind of disappeared from the internet at that point. Uh, once again, this is August 4th, 2015. Uh, the Canadian legal system fucking it, it is slow as fuck. So it took a long time for his kind of case to go through and for there to be developments. In the meantime, though, his videos were picked up and thoroughly mocked by the likes of Leafy is here, Pyrocynical, Drunken Peasants, uh, all burgeoning channels at the time getting more and more popular. Uh, and they exposed Joseph Antics to literally millions of people across the world. And they basically cemented him as uh, not only a notable internet figure, but as a lol cow. 
this is probably peak beast exposure generally and the point at which he entered the true halls of history. Uh, many of those who covered him would later on cover the CP charges as well. However, in an interesting turn, Joseph would enter a plea of not guilty on November 23rd. I believe it was... Was it 2015? I think it was. Oh, be careful. Um, and uh, the case would end up later being totally dismissed on February 5th, 2018. Uh, details that emerged later indicated that Joseph had saved some images of somebody off of chat roulette site uh in this instance omegle uh while unknowing uh sorry excuse me unknowingly getting caught up in a sting operation by police now the way that this panned out um this sting operation by police i don't know all the details of it i don't know if they're out there but i tried pretty hard to find them and i could only find some kind of minor th details that I kind of had to stitch together. Um, it seemed like there was like a poorly set up sting operation and the police may or may not have entrapped him. But uh, basically the, the reasons that his case got dismissed is because uh, seemingly there was no indication that Joseph even knew that the person in question was supposed to be underage. Uh, there was no indication that uh, he had asked the person their age or that they had told him. There was no indication that the person who may or may not have been used as a decoy in this instance was actually under or over the age of 18. None of these details have came out. Um, there, it is, it is actually completely unknown whether there was any CP actually involved. Um, there's, like, you go through all the details, it's kind of like, I don't know. And <clears throat> so he ended up having all of this like this i think like it 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 kind of started to go to trial and then it was all just immediately dropped because a judge looked at it or it was basically examined and it was like there's literally no evidence here that could even support you know <sighs> this case going against him um and I, try, like I, try, I know it, 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 it's probably really weird me explaining this, but the problem is, is that a lot of the fine details of the case were never made public. Um, there was even a rumor at one point, although I think this was pretty much completely dispelled, that um, Joseph had like some drawings of like basically like some lolly or something, and that that had gotten gotten him in trouble with the law. But I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, I think this kind of story where he basically took a screenshot from, from what I can see, it seems like he was on Omegle and the cops were also on Omegle on like the other side of the chat roulette kind of, uh, you know, thing, the kind of two way camera communication thing. And he had like taken screenshots or something or saved maybe like a, a, a picture or a video or something. And this was basically part of some botched sting operation by the police. Um, but regardless for, you know, basically between 2015 and 2018, there were three years where everyone was like, oh, yeah, that that Joseph Strickland guy, the beast. Yeah, he's a pedophile. But it really was never actually shown that he intended to uh, contact any minors for anything like that. Uh, it was never shown in court. There was no evidence provided that um, he had actually uh, uh, done any of this or intended to do any of this as it was kind of portrayed. Um, I think one note that a couple of people have kind of made in regards to this is like, it could be very well that uh, the, the, the case is, is that he was intending to do this or something, but that's like... <clears throat> That's like saying, you know, like it, it's always uh, the possibility is always kind of there. Uh, and, and this is kind of the reason why I put uh, the title or sorry, this is kind of like why I titled this the way that I did, you know, because it is kind of a tragic story. It doesn't seem like he was ever charged with this and there's never any evidence that, you know, uh, there, there was never any evidence to indicate that there was a good reason that he should have been caught up in this thing, but I don't know. 
uh, and even some people in the chat before we got to this point earlier in the stream were saying, oh, he's a predator, this and that, you know? So it just kind of goes to show that his reputation online, you know, beyond him having a bad reputation from just kind of being an idiot, being a dork. But he all he went on to uh, have the reputation as a, a, pred a predator and a pedophile, even though there's no evidence to uh, indicate that that's actually the case. Tryptamine said, with how similar he is to Jared, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that um, Joseph is either like way, he's either way lower IQ than even Jared, or he's just mentally not there. Like it seems he's it seems he's neurodivergent. Um, I saw some claims, but that I couldn't really substantiate them, so I don't know. Uh, but kind of just in conclusion, like yeah. Um, although his personality and his positions and his conduct online is very cringe, I would I would more say that he fits into the more lighthearted, innocent category of lol cow. Like even though he's definitely a piece of shit, it's like. You compare him to Jared, Genesis, Chance Wilkins, like his story is tragic and he's definitely like a sort of a reprehensible person, but he's like a fucking saint compared to Jared or Cyrax. Let's be true. Let's be real here. Like, and it is kind of sad in a way that his life was kind of ruined by this shit. Like he's still monitored uh, to this day. His online activity is still monitored to this day because of all this, but you know. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little uh, dive into little little corner of uh, the lol cow uh, halls of uh, history on the internet. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm I'm high as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys uh, have any more suggestions for lol cows and internet individuals that you want me to cover. Uh, let me know in the comments or in my community tab or any of that good shit. Um, channel members. Uh, there's some polls and some stuff that you guys should go check out on the members only tab. Uh, membership tab on your uh, on my channel on YouTube. You can check the videos there. That's one thing I want to mention too for my members. Um, when I do members only streams and videos, they don't really show up on your feed. So you kind of have to go to that tab to check them. It's kind of annoying. I'm also going to put a Discord invite in the members only kind of messages thing there so you guys can check that. Any members who aren't in the Discord, you can get an invite there and kind of hop in and check shit out. But yeah, you guys uh, have a good one for now. Uh, I will see you guys probably tomorrow with uh, the new Jared stream. But yeah, uh, in the meantime, stay sexy, everybody, and I will see y'all later. Peace out.